Annabelle came from a song by Kat Goldman, who's a Canadian songwriter. It's a wistful song. It's a song that has a story. It's Annabelle, Annabelle, where did you go? It's about an Annabelle who's um, hard to find, who's disappeared. Annabelle has indeed disappeared because of a gender-altering surgery at birth. The story of Wayne Blake's struggle as an intersex person is rooted in reality. Someone told me about an intersex child. I had never heard of this before. I didn't know about the child's feminine or masculine self being erased at birth and it being hidden from them. So once I heard about one child like this, I started to find out more and I you know, departed from the original story and did research and found out that this is really common. The book explores the disconnect between Wayne and the society that rejects him, a society where the roles of women and men are clearly defined. I would like to think that we're becoming more inclusive and more imaginative and more able to encompass many ways of living, but I don't think that that's the case. I think that news events of even the past very little while with um, suicides of gender ambiguous young people and bullying that has led to actual death shows us that this is a really um, tragic social problem. I was bullied and I think I was a bully sometimes. I think you pass it on, you know? And her understanding of boys was perfect. It made me cry. So that's always, you know, <laughs> that doesn't happen very often. And the experience of her protagonist and the experiences of his, her family, I think, are, are so carefully realized. You can't help but be moved, moved by this book. It's an important frontier. And I didn't write this book to be a part of that. I wrote this book because I'm a novelist and I'm an artist and I tell a story.